Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you just get all that data that's, um, that's been generated? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as much as generation? Yes. Mm -hmm. All the data that has happened since I first started sending emails on, um, well, I think it was November 15th of 2015, I emailed the three police departments. Right. And they wanted to say I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there could be some individuals that are concerned. And I know that it says there's no views on any of those videos or maybe just one or two people are watching them. Yeah. But I have seen on some of my email accounts, Yahoo, that um, in less than one minute, it looked like 10,000 emails. So why don't you give me the data of every email that's been sent to every email account since I opened my first email account, p underscore budnick at hotmail.com? Yes. And then there was p budnick at gmail.com. Oh, I'd just like to know how much data has been provided to all the service providers. Yes where there are terms and agreements right now. Mm -hmm. See, somebody keeps saying, well, we're just not going to let you do what you say you can do. Yes. And then my thought is, well, if I do open a GoFundMe account, yes, and somebody wants to actually make a donation because they're concerned about the use of forgeries and fraud, poop, it could make a, a large uh, mess, couldn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, there's that $200 billion yesterday. Pow. And then there was this big question about, well, what other rights, rules, and um, requirements of law are being violated? Yes. Now, as I understand it, only the petitioner can motion the court to reissue a protection order? Yes. I mean, she was the one that motioned the court in 2013? Yes. Yeah. Because it says here that she attempted a declaration of Heidi Budnick poop and the affidavit of mailing, yes, on uh, July 22nd of 2013, yeah. Now, I'd be curious to know exactly where she sent it out. Did she send it to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road? Mm -hmm. See, it seems to me that Mike should have been arrested a long time ago. But the Squim Police Department, yes is absolutely sure that Mike has not committed any crime because it was a big practical joke using a picture of my sister Susan Bowers? Yes. Is that really Legina in the picture? Mm -hmm. See, I'm having a difficult time um, not wanting to upset you. Mm -hmm. I'm not upset. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one that committed the crime. But if you reissue a protection order where it did require the signature of the petitioner... Uh, here, yes, mm -hmm. see, a notice of hearing, petition for renewal, notice of hearing, renewal of protection order, yes. If the petitioner had to sign this one, uh-huh, Heidi Lee Budnick or Budner, poop, and the petitioner had to sign this one, yes. How is it possible that the petitioner didn't have to sign this one? Mm -hmm. Because they were, well, I, I'm going to sue you for that. <laughs> now, um, the petitioner, yes, petitioned the court on the 8th of July of 2011, yes. And um, confidential report, confidential report, Brent Basden, yes. Without any actual notice or opportunity to be heard to myself. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, did she sign this protection order where you reissued it? Yes. But there was no actual attempt of service on myself because I was on Guam. Yeah. Did she sign this permanent order for protection on August 12th of 2011? Yes. Either it was her own signature or it was a forgery of her twin sister she didn't tell me about while we were married. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then there was the arrest four days after uh, the petition for the dissolution of marriage. Yes. Did she sign that? Ooch. Ooch, ooch. Now, if it requires a signature on all of these protection orders because it's the same case number? Yes. Are you absolutely sure that she didn't have to sign this one? Poop. <laughs> because when there's no change right now, mm -hmm. because, no, it's the same case number, uh, 11 to uh -huh, 006711. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, she motioned the court on May 31st of 2012. Yes. One week after uh, petitioning the court for dissolution of marriage. Yeah. Did she sign all of these documents? Choo. Oh. Well, if she signed this one, yes. And it's the same case number? Yes. 
Are you sure that she didn't have to sign this one? Poop. Now, just so I know, okay, <laughs> seemed like you required a signature. It was either Heidi's or George's signature on, on all these court documents right now. Well, if it's the same case number mm -hmm, on each of these protection orders, mm -hmm, and the only one that I've seen that she didn't sign, yes, mm -hmm, was the one that you issued. Oh. Can you as a court issue a protection order without the signature of the same petitioner on the same case number that had to sign all the other ones? Oops. Now, I think it would be against the law. Ouch! Now, I haven't actually documented this lawsuit. Now he has it. Mm -hmm. But you said that, well, as we mentioned, okay, Jack, uh, police departments can issue, um, they can motion the court for a protection order, a temporary protection order, yes, or a weapon surrender form when they have a credible uh -huh, accusation of the possibility of committing a crime in the immediate future of the report to the police. Mm -hmm. Not uh, six months later? No. Mm -mm. Not a year later? No. Mm -mm. Not 10 years later? Ouch! Now, when you issued it for 10 years, mm -hmm, you said that she didn't have to sign this right. Why didn't she, why did she sign all of these right? I mean, if you, if you really thought about it, yes. Mm -hmm. Did she sign, did she sign, did she sign right now? See, if the petitioner of the same case number for four years, yes, did sign using her signature of forgery of her twin sister, right. Um, I would think it's an obligation of the requirements of law that she would have to sign the reissuance of a protection order. Yes. Now, we could look at the RCWs and those requirements. Yeah. How about the court rules? Pooh. How about the rights of the respondent and the minors named? Yes. And quite possibly the rights of the petitioner to not have you issue a protection order. Mm -hmm. Now, the court took it upon themselves right now. I'm not upset. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're angry at me. I'm not the one that issued this. I would think, Judge Ken Williams, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the cover sheet and the petition for dissolution of marriage? Yeah. Did Heidi or Heidi Budnick or Heidi Budner sign that? Pope. And then there's the little H here. Uh huh. Did she actually fill out the forms to go to the children in the middle class or? Did her twin sister go to the middle of class? Mm -hmm. How about the motion for a default? Heidi Lee Hodges. Yes. Was that Heidi Lee Budnick's signature? Pow. Mm -hmm. Or was that somebody else? Now, when you think about this whole idea of the signature, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly who signed all these child support worksheets? Pooch. Who signed the declaration? Ouch. Mm -hmm. Who signed? Who, well, who, well, who signed the sealed confidential report and the cover sheet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who was it that signed the declaration under the penalty of perjury? Now there's a possibility, okay, that there could be a, a significant number of lawsuits for you issuing a protection order where there is no signed signature. Yes of the petitioner that signed all the other protection orders. Oh, oh. Now, when we start looking at lawsuits right now, poop, I'm thinking that if any corporation has any information about the IP addresses that logged it, they're enriching themselves at the suffering of myself and my family. Oh, oh. See, when you refuse to enforce the laws, yes, the law that would make it a crime to issue a protection order where the petitioner had signed all the other protection orders, <laughs> either her own signature or forgery. Yes, since it's the same case number. It is actually a crime to issue a protection order without the petitioner's signature. Mm -hmm. Now, if there was a different case number, it'd be different, right? You could say as a court, well, we think Paul's crazy. We're going to issue it for 10 years. <laughs> but since it's the same case number, oh, now pardon the interruption. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've seen you here before. I don't think you have. <laughs> now let's make things official. Poop. How do I make it official when I want to sue somebody? <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I think I have to sign something yes, to actually do that. Yes, he does. 
Are there any attorneys yes, mm -hmm, that would like to get my signature on any lawsuits that are being obstructed from representing me? <laughs> well, we're going to have to make it official then, aren't we? <laughs> now, why don't you get me all the data that has been shared with all the service providers? Yes. Of every Facebook post, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every Dropbox, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every Drive, <laughs> and every email. <laughs>